How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with yet another review. A little bit of uh, Illinois hopeful goodness in the form of Off Color Brewing. It's their Dino S'mores. Um, yeah, I've had this before. I don't think I reviewed it before. Um, the date on this. Okay, so it's not that old. It's only a couple months old. But uh, yeah, Off Color Brewing. I've done a couple of their beers review-wise. I don't know how many I've posted, though. The last three I've had have been turned. That have been sideways. Um, something's been wrong with them, so I haven't posted them. Or is it two? It's two or three. Let's put it that way. And I didn't post them just because, you know, I have some backlog. And I was just like, okay, maybe something, you know, shame on whatever. You know, conditions, chance, all that stuff. But this is the third or fourth one I'm going to open. If this one's kind of sideways or turned... And it's not. It's 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 the brewery's fault. Now I shouldn't go into the beer with that kind of preconceived notion of it being turned. I hope it's not. I hope it's delicious. Um, but I'm kind of suspect. You know, that's how history treats you sometimes. So we're gonna dive in and see what she's got. What does it say in the bottle? First off, this comes from Chuck. Thank you very much. He sent me off a crazy bottle box of uh, Chicago jams, and this is one of them. This is a Russian Imperial Stout Brew with natural flavors and cocoa nibs added, uh, off-color brewing, 10.5% uh, Imperial Stout. Now, why would something like this go sideways? Or any of their other beers? I'm going to read the ingredients. Ingredients: uh, Malts, there's like 19 different malts. Sure, that's fine. You know, hops, nugget, okay. And then you're talking about secret ingredients, marshmallow, vanilla bean, molasses, graham flour, cocoa nibs. It's a lot of moving parts, so you can understand why beers like this kind of go sideways every now and then. It said, we made this beer with our Danish friends from Amager Briggers and our not-so-Danish friends at Westlake View Liquors. And, you know, it's a little mouse in a fire. What are you going to do? So, let's see what the sucker has. Come on. Come on, get open. I just want to see if the beer jumps out of the bottle. No, it's pretty tame. Pour it in this tiny little, like, wine kind of glass. I found this little, uh, little uh, thrift store find this weekend. I kind of like this glass. I have a couple of these, but they're much larger in shape. Your trillium kind of sour glasses, this kind of shape. Uh, look at that fucking dirty glass mafia. I washed the shit out of this glass, too. But yeah, what do you have? Um, you know, not big, much of a head. I kind of give it an aggressive pour, relatively aggressive pour for its size. Didn't get much there. Very much cola like. Uh, uh, like uh, Coca Cola in the way the body comes off, Coca Cola in the way the head comes off, Coca Cola in the way the carbonation comes off. So it definitely looks like a soda. So, you're, you're, you know, Russian Imperial Stout, sure. Ooh, I actually gave it a twirl and it didn't spill. I'm kind of excited about that. Let's see if we can get a nose in this tiny ass glass. Should have picked a better one. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't smell much like a Russian Imperial Stout. She smells like a stout with an added sweetness to it, which kind of takes it into Belgian territory. It's like you don't have those phenolic kind of Belgian yeast kind of things going on. So it's an added candied sugar, uh, darker beer. Still, mind playing tricks, mate? I don't know. But it comes off kind of cold like in the nose, too. Yeah. Look at that. That's how you get it good. You get that rich stoutiness on your nose. But yeah, she smells nice. Smells like a... Overly carbonated, rich, dark brown ale that's verging in the stout territory. But since you get those kind of added adjuncts in there, it has this candied portion of the show to it. So let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. Okay. Um, you get, oh man, that. Look how dirty that glass is getting. Um, you're getting this flat sweetness. Flat beer. It's weird because it had this sprightly carbonation. It's pretty much all gone now. There's a sweetness there, but it has like a kind of a, a, a plateau to it. To where it's sweet and then all of a sudden kind of drops off. It, it, it's got a weird body to it. It's thin, while at the same time a little bit of soft grittiness. You do get those added sweetness, that molasses, that graham cracker and all that stuff, but it ends up coming off like super over the top, like oxidative. And it's not so much that the beer's oxidated, it almost tastes like all the ingredients are oxidized to the max. It's super drying, 
But again, I think it's a drying component because of uh, it might be a combination of the nugget hops with all the adjuncts. Yeah, it's coming off flat. It's coming off not it's sweet, but I could it's just super generic sweet. But it's not like a uh, white sugar kind of refined sugar kind of sweetness. It's almost like a I don't even know thin, flat sweet without any character to the sweetness a little bit grainy that's it it you know what this tastes like this tastes like a a, a, ba a, a barrel aged beer that the cap was fucked up and you let it sit for two years and it just got oxidized to all living hell that's kind of what this tastes like i wouldn't call this turd the other ones i had from them were, were a bit more south than this but this is just kind of uninspiring it's kind of me yeah honestly at this point, it's just like, I do not know. I didn't pay for this, but I don't know if I'm going to really fuck with off-color off -color anymore. It's like three or four beers in a row that the beers are just totally sideways for me. Which is a bummer. Because the beers that I picked up for them, uh, like, on the outside are exactly what I'm looking for. You Russian Imperial Stout with a bit of adjuncts. Barrel-aged fucking uh, uh, Belgian was one of them, I believe. Um, there's been all these kind of cool little, like, uh, takes on beer. And this, it just seems like their MO is just maybe their their quality control when it comes to, to their adjuncts are off. Because it's not sideways. It's not off in flavor. It's not off as far as negative or turned or anything. It's just kind of off color. <laughs> a little bit of a, you know, play on their own words there. But yeah, it's kind of uninspiring. Really not much to it. The sweetness is generic. Uh, the adjuncts there, but very kind of muddled. And there's a ton of oxidation going on. And I would never call this in a stout, let alone a Russian Imperial stout. It's more of just an Imperial dark, uber brown ale. Um, that's it. Done and done. Yeah. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better Russian Imperial Stouts I've had as of late? Definitely not. Uh, definitely not worthy of being in a conversation. It is kind of a very forgettable beer. Value and availability. You know, I actually see this stuff in and around the area I live. So take that for what it's worth and leave you with, if you like what we well, like this. If you, And it's stated it's now. It's just not a good beer. So if you just don't like good beer, if you like oxidized beer, which is weird because I kind of like oxidation of beer, just not the way this is showing up. If you just like to see how beers can go sideways. I'm not saying every one of these bottles is like that, but, you know, like I said, I'm three, four deep on this brewery. And each beer is, is a bit off. So, yeah. If you're into experimentation and uh, Russian roulette. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little off-color beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>